Hey guys, what's up? It's Brendan from Heartbreaker Guitars, and we are in the Paul Reed Smith booth for NAMM 2019. And I'm here with Brian, who's going to walk us through all the new gear from Paul Reed Smith. Brian, how you doing? Doing great. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for having us. Um, NAMM is awesome, isn't it? It's yeah, it's it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. But I don't leave this room much, so I, I miss a lot of it. But yeah, I watch it on on the internet. Yeah, yeah you're sheltered yeah. in here, aren't yeah. you? Yeah. You get to see all those rock stars, though. That's I get fun. to play cool guitars all day, which is fun. You know? Yeah, that's cool. Okay, so why don't you start us off with the uh, John Mayer Silver Skies and tell us what's up with those? Okay, so technically it it's not brand new, but it's its first NAM. Uh, you know, it came out in March. Um, uh, I've been playing one since. I mean, it's it's probably one of my favorite models. I mean, I grew up playing. You know, a very similar guitar, so it's uh, it's like home to me. Um, what is new to 2019 for Nam are four new colors. So there was originally uh, the tungsten, uh, horizon, onyx, and frost. Uh, you know, silver, black, red, white. Now we've got the. Um, I got to make sure I remember these names. Are as, as interesting as the colors. This is the uh, golden mesa. This is mock sand. This is Orion green. And this one is um, Dodgem Blue, which is Dodgem. my favorite, uh, maybe my favorite name, but also certainly my favorite color. So uh, if you're having a hard time picking a color now, it's twice as hard. You know. So eight great colors. Um, you know, it's, you know, John and, and Paul spent a long time really taking uh, apart, like, what exactly was like, the, you know, there's, there's millions of guitars and millions of versions of the same designs out there with subtle differences, and that really is where it all comes down to. It's kind of like, uh, you know, he wanted a very specific uh, radius to the fingerboard, the, the size and the shape of the material of the fret. You know, this cutaway here kind of gives you a nice extra access to the, you know, even the heel of the guitar has a, a slightly different contour instead yes. of having the, the the round the rounded edge. It's amazing how comfortable it feels when you're up in that area. Um, Can you get a close up of that? One? Yeah, of course. That color is really cool. It looks different in different lights. It does. It really does. Yeah. Kind, I, it's, kind of a retro color a little bit. Yeah, you know what? It, I mean, it kind of reminds me of. I mean, there's. You know, a lot of those, the colors from the 60s, I mean, they were car paint colors, you know, is where, where they came from. And um, then you put nitro on them, and over time, nitro changes color and right. it yellow. So, like, you see what, you know, some of those colors look like when they're new, but then you see what they look like. They, they, and part of what I love is the way they've aged. Yeah. So some of these kind of remind me of, like, those, some of those great colors, but with the, the, the aging, right. like, yeah. temperature yeah. of the color changing is kind of what it reminds me of. Um, but yeah, I, I absolutely love them. The, the you know it's it's a kind of a hybrid between like Paul's original design of the trim, but putting the bent steel saddles. You know, it's a it's a signature model guitar. It's exactly what John wanted. They work together. So you know, a lot of people ask questions about to Paul about, well, why'd you do this instead of that? And it's like, well, this is really like I didn't pick this scale length. That was um, the 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 radius or the or the scale length. That was really what John wanted. So um, you know, when you're dealing with an artist and you're a guitar builder. It's finding, you know, it's really about making that artist happy. Right. Now, okay, so John had all these specs in mind um, when he, they designed the guitar together, but what did Paul have in mind? Did he have some real specific ideas about what this guitar should look and play like? Uh, I don't know if necessarily, uh, I mean, I think they both are, they have a lot of similar ideas in mind. They both love a very specific era of the 63 and 64 strats to them were like the, pinnacle you know it's like the the 58 59 60 Les Pauls are kind of the the benchmark everybody you know sets right, to right. Um, and some people you know if you ask Eric Johnson what the ideal year of a Strat is he might give you a different right. version than somebody else but to the two of them that era 63 and 64 were where they felt like the, the magic was and they took one of John's favorite guitars his favorite 63 out of his massive collection Paul had a, I'm sorry, John 64 and Paul, uh, uh, Paul's 63. And the name of the pickups, 635, the name of the neck shape is a 635. I mean, 63 and a half. It's their compromise between like, uh, yeah. and it had like, there might be like, well, I love the way the contour of the neck is on your guitar up here, but the way it shoulders down here. So it was really kind of like find the marriage of like, you know, if you pull two vintage guitars, two any guitars, they're going to feel and sound a little different. And you might love this aspect of this one and this aspect. And if you could 
merge them and take your favorite things of that one and favorite things of that one and put them together. That's exactly what they did. Right, right. And when you're John Mayer and you have Paul Reed Smith able to sit down with you for as long as you need to to build the perfect guitar, wouldn't we all love to be in that position? Like, I want, you know, I love the way the neck on this feels, but I love the way the pickup on this. And that's, that's really what they did. You know, two kids in a candy store yeah, yeah. that had time and ability to sit down and design what is John's idealized version. The problem is you pick up an old Strat and it may be great, but if something happens to it, you, you know, you need to have work done on it, your backup or whatever, is right. not going to feel right. the same. Sounds if you can design one and have somebody like Paul who can go like, okay, we can make 100 out of 100 feel and play and sound the same way, how great is that? You know, right. Right. So the, you know John can have 10 of them with him on tour and they're all, everyone's going to feel like the next. And if you're a fan of what he does, you can buy one that feels and sounds exactly like what his ideal version is. Right, right. Okay, well, the Silver Skies are killer. The customers are loving them. Thank you, Brian, for telling us about them. These new colors look amazing. So um, anyway, we have them at Heartbreaker Guitars, so do call us if you have any questions about the John Mayer, Paul Reed Smith, Silver Sky. Thanks, guys.